That beat, the second half of the beat was way better than the first half. But that's not the best track on the album. I think the best track on the album is uh is either is either Time Pass or Skloob. It's either Time Pass or Skloob. Uh, uh, the beat on HAB was cool, but he sounded too much like Cardi. And then Oh My Pockets was, again, it didn't, until the second half, it really didn't. But you guys were saying Travis influence, but I didn't even hear. I, I, I couldn't really hear the Travis, like, where you guys were speaking on that. Um... Every, anytime you guys hear kind of like some dark beat, you guys always assume it's Travis. I, I really don't. You know, Travis has a very specific way he does his shit. So, uh, I don't know. What what do you think of Shade? That's my favorite part from P1. Um, two out of four, personally, I could tell why this is not on streaming. You know, I feel like this is a lot of throwaways. You know, like kind of more so toward, um, you know, towards his old fan base. I hate saying his old fan base because it's basically the same. It's still the same motherfuckers listening to his shit. But I feel like. You know, there was definitely a direction he was going with 2093. He stuck with that theme. Um, and then releasing P2, you can kind of see where the Drake feature comes in. Still, I would still say it stuck to the theme, both tracks, uh, especially the first one. Uh, but it had more of a of a, of the, the natural yeet or the yeet that we're kind of used to. And then we get to P3 where this is just what yeet has been doing now for the last what three years uh with the bell especially man the bell i always say his the bell was a staple and yeats come up and just hearing these tracks man again i i still think the album was, is, is what it was and he did a great job at it um you know it, again as a as an old yeet fan if you weren't feeling the direction he was going with his music i totally understand that but at the same time though if you do like it you're also i understand that as well like i'm, I'm not mad at that because it was new, it was refreshing, it was a different direction, and while it took some getting used to on most of the tracks, you know, kind of when it hit, it did hit. Um, I definitely felt there was a, definitely a lot of room for improvement for Yeet, but the fact that he's just trying, and I always question, like, what was he going to do after the bell got old? There's only so much up to me's and two lives that he could make, and I've always said that in the previous videos. I always ask, what could he possibly do moving forward you know, with these, with these, with these, with these sounds, because the bell's only gonna last so long. Like for before people little pump his ass, uh, pause before people little pump his ass. It, you know, people are it's, it's going to get old, and so he was going to have to find something different to do. And even though this, whether you say it didn't work or not, I mean, it. Is, I think it is working because a lot of people are questioning, a lot of people are talking about, it, a lot of people are, are are wondering like, wow, do I really like this yeet? That yeet makes me feel like I'm on a Batman movie. Yeah, have y'all heard that new Yeet? I've heard a lot of great shit. You know, a lot of people talking they talking their shit. They they enjoying it, and and yeah. So, I um he he definitely answered my call of what he was going to do different and and will people enjoy what he's doing and and I I think he answered the call, in my opinion. But you know, I know a lot of y'all feel a little different, right? That was probably the closest we will officially ever hear Drake on top of a dub type of dubstep type beat. Yeah, I get yeah, dubstep, <laughs> dubstep. Damn, when you think about it, that was kind of like dubstepy. Now that I'm thinking about it, that was kind of dub, dubstepy. That's funny that we gotta say dubstepy. Skrillex Drake collab win. I don't know, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna put this out. Uh, maybe I might cut it up. I'm not pretty sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this honestly, because. You never know, like, if this is supposed to be a secret release and he didn't drop this on Apple Music or anything, and you basically had to get this from, what, Google Form, like, Google Doc, Google Drive. I'm really not sure if I want to put this on YouTube, uh, just so, just because I don't want to get clapped. I might just make it a Patreon exclusive and, uh, exclusive and call it a day, but um, there's no reactions on YouTube. Okay. Then I probably won't fuck with it. I probably just keep it to a Patreon and just kind of keep it moving. I probably just release this shit as a review and 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 call it a day. We'll just keep it like that. Get clapped, yeah, get clapped. So that's how I feel about it, man. Get in the comments below what you think. Obviously, P one. What do you guys think? You guys think P two? Which one was better? P two, P three, P one? I mean, obviously, P one has more body of work, but I don't know, man. That P two, man. That would but that P2 probably would have been my perfect version of what I would have wanted, you know, 2093 to be. Because I did still I I, I will say this though. We talked about the aura thing. 
and I've 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 been seeing Yeet without the shiesty, and I kind of do feel like he's lo losing his aura. I really do feel like slowly it's happening. And while I do love to see a motherfucker, motherfucker, a motherfucker successful, why could I not say that? While I do want to see a motherfucker successful, I don't, I did not want to see him so happy go giddy. Like it just, you know, the the lore, the lore of the of Yeet the last three years was was cool as fuck. Like the motherfucker had a shiesty on, I didn't even know what he looked like. And you know, even though he was playing the role, it was cool. But now it's just like. It's like a new persona. I'm not really know if I'm feeling the new persona. You know, like I really don't know if I'm feeling that. And it it, it kind of feels like not saying I want I don't even want to say lame. It just feels you know like it just don't feel Yiddish. You can't even have fun shit crazy. It's not about having fun. It's like <laughs> like oh no nigga. Oh man, like when you say a little twizzy two two piece onion, I just don't imagine the nigga that's rolling in the snow doing this saying little twizzy two piece onion. You know, I just don't imagine that's the nigga that's saying it. You know what I'm saying? I just that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um Did you see that Daft Punk went live on Twitch hours ago? I did not see that no. But that's just how I feel about it, man. Get in the comments below. Let me what you think. Don't forget to follow me here. Beer gang, beer dev back, uh doing reviews. If you guys want to watch the full video, it will be on Patreon. Because, unfortunately, I cannot upload this on YouTube. P3, I cannot upload on YouTube. Definitely upload on P2 on YouTube, though, if you want to go watch that. So, um, with that being said, I love y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. And until uh, the next time, YouTube, we are out. Peace.